But then once everyone was confined to their own homes, it was actually from there where everyone started to look for opportunities. Thank you for joining us today at Gen Z Talks. It's been a tough year for many, to say the least, especially for younger people who have seen schools and universities closing, graduations cancelled, job opportunities reduced, and a steep rise in mental health issues. However, there has been a whirlwind of positivity and a steep increase in innovation that's never been witnessed before especially amongst younger people. I spoke to four Gen Zers about what they did following the start of lockdown and how they dealt with the restrictions put in place during the summer. We talked about new opportunities which developed following the start of lockdown, the shift in mindset that was required to deal with the situation and the entrepreneurial spirit amongst younger people who came together to help one another. I strongly recommend that you watch the video until the end to get the full value and insight from these four bright young leaders. Starting out the, uh, the, you know, the summer, especially going into lockdown, I think everyone you know, went through the same phase, myself included, um, of you know, just lazing about, you know, taking a break from all the exams and the pressure, and just you know, you're being jubilant about all of that. And I think you know, it, it came to a point where you know, after a couple of weeks of literally doing nothing, I will admit, um, you know, just watching Netflix and lazing around, I thought, you know, I kind of wanted to try something new. And that led to me joining a, a startup, which I had never envisioned uh, in, my, in my life. And that has been a learning curve in itself. And I think it, it definitely signaled a, a, a very big mindset shift uh, for me. Surprisingly, lockdown has probably been the best time of my life, <laughs> which is weird to say. The beginning actually started for me just doing personal statement webinars for like other for year 12 who are applying to uni and their their most their concern was not not being able to do work experience because of covid it was locking down and so that that got me thinking in terms of people are like, yeah not creating their own opportunities and they can actually go and do stuff they don't need to rely on uh like a bank offering work experience to apply and do it they can they can go out and create something of their own and then just talking about that they like different like everyone has so many things they want to do like whether it's starting a business or starting a podcast or even just like reaching out to someone to talk to like finding work experience themselves just reaching out on someone on linkedin and chatting with them some of them they really want to do it but they can't do it they just they're scared yes. they're lots of fears and also like yeah covid has lots has meant um lots of people are just worried other town about the future i think one of the reasons that i've i've really enjoyed working with students and kind of generation z now for example is the fact that i was in the, that exact age group and that exact sort of category and i probably am on the sort of upper echelon of what would be considered um gen z um only a few years ago so when i'm asking myself the question of well what would i have really wanted as a resource and how am i going to try and build that um i think back to my own personal experiences and the experiences of my peers and cohort um because i'm able to hopefully try and reflect on the ways that i used to enjoy um you know learning new things or at least talking in a way which is nice and accessible and i can understand some of not all of but some of the challenges and misconceptions and things that i was experiencing at that age and so um it was a real pleasure just to sort of try and create that uh, that sort of dynamic and that resources to help people in that way because it, it really connected with me and, and where i was a few years ago for me i think at the beginning it was very painful actually because I'm the type of person that I really like. I like hanging out with people and meeting people. So when lockdown happened, I was just really stuck at home. So that really like affected my mental health a lot. So I think after that, I tried to like distract myself by doing loads of things, like improving my LinkedIn account, using that. And yeah, I took part in a hackathon. And this is where my app Mood Smart came from that I'm now working on, which is a mental health app, which takes in your social media data and then it produces reports on this based on your mood. And it gives you habits that you can use to work on improving your mental health. And I've been working on that since then. And this has just been really been game changing for me because I never thought that app development could be something that can change the world. So I've now just been working towards that. I created a network, the Young App Developer Network. 
and yeah I've just really learned so much I've learned that like university is not the be one and all and I definitely want to make sure that what I'm doing links to a purpose I don't want I don't want to just do things for the sake of doing them because I think definitely having a vision is so key in times like these where things can happen and things change anyhow everyone is doing something that they're passionate about and they're excited about and they're just learning new things that they've never thought they would learn before and it's just developing the skills that they want to develop and that they wouldn't like we wouldn't have this opportunity if it wasn't for this big gap um and it just taught us to be more independent in a way it's definitely characterized by self-development um before everything was very you know not handed to you on a plate but more because you know when you're at school you're quite restricted to that just that education system of just you know just sit down do your a-levels you know get the grades and that's really it there wasn't that much support or you didn't actively seek out those opportunities because you were confined to that but then once everyone was confined to their own homes it was actually from there where everyone started to look for opportunities you know on a more virtual scale and I think that's where the creative element came from in terms of you know organizing you know virtual events virtual webinars you know all of these different opportunities conducting you know between people from all over the world I, I think it's, it's the global scale that it's had you know for me I've met people literally from across the world that I would have never had contact with people from America Pakistan Africa it's actually uh, you know it's actually insane how how much reach there's been and it's through creating opportunities and utilizing those opportunities online to really like self-develop like I, you know a lot of people I know began pro- programming this summer they began setting up their own company they began, you know, um, getting together and making real social change. But I definitely think that our generation is very creative and we definitely found ways in which we can definitely, like, meet with other people, work on things while still having those, like, in-person engagements while being socially distanced, of course. So I think we've really, really done well and found ways that we can, like, still have a social life and make meaningful connections, which is definitely something that I've taken away. Yeah, as young people, we've created this environment where everyone not only helps each other but then you can apply different skill sets that I I wouldn't have known you wouldn't have known you know and and kind of just coming together and really I I think that's from that that is where the entrepreneurship side comes from it wasn't like a oh everyone get into entrepreneurship it was more of a natural subtle thing where people started utilizing their skills you know or, or developing new ones and then from there you know especially especially I realized um I, th- I think it was when young people started to group together and making new initiatives. That's when the entrepreneurship element really came to the forefront. I definitely agree with what you just said. I think that a lot of people didn't choose entrepreneurship. I think entrepreneurship chose them. Mm-hmm. Like, I think people just came up with all of these amazing ideas and all of these concepts that they wanted to implement. And then they used this, they used they use their ideas to basically go towards entrepreneurship and to help other people, which is something I love about our generation. We're always there to lend a helping hand to everyone, regardless of their situation. If somebody needs help, we're able to like provide a resource to them. We come together to solve the problems instead of like just ignoring that they don't exist. I think what I've noticed, especially within law, and I'm sure this will extend to other industries, is in particular Generation uh, Z are kind of are kind of in, uh, impacted and, and thinking about a few sort of key and core areas. The first is is work life balance. I think for the most part, um, again, it was a depend on your industry, but I, from what I can tell, there's a greater appetite for people to understand what it is they're signing up for and to ensure that you know if they're going to go down a route in law or finance or business or anything else, making sure that the kind of trade offs they might be making with regards to um, commitments and working hours will be remunerated, not just in a monetary sense as well, but a, a sort of a ability to sort of progress within an organisation and to get involved with other side of it beyond just the kind of um the the grunt work of of whatever it is that's in their particular industry i certainly think that that's one um and i think the second as well is is creativity i've seen so many products and and groups and projects get started in lockdown by students coming together and wanting to add their own twist to something and to um really have a creative side project and to go at something in some way Uh, and i hope that that kind of sense of critical thinking and kind of trying to think of new ways of doing stuff which has been established for a while and a a passion for you know this new emerging technology that we're we're seeing ai machine learning all those other buzzwords um is going to be continued into the workplace and and not just always from a technological perspective but a, a cultural one as well so thinking about new ways that we can um improve processes within an organization to um 
rethink the ways that we're doing things. Personally, I think based on the conversations I've had with students, those are two areas that they are really looking to, to contribute towards.